What up, YouTube? Knowledge is self-determination. Back with you guys from another, with another story from the final call. This one is about um, father being accused of broadcasting the rape of his two-year-old daughter live online. Yeah, I, I, I did just say that. You, you guys did just hear that. He, uh, he broadcasted this live over the internet. Before I get into the story, I just want to say there are there, there, there are certain people that exist on Earth that I believe are just the worst types of human beings ever. I'm not going to get into a long rant about it, but people who abuse children and victimize children sexually, physically, mentally, verbally, I think they are the scum of the fucking Earth. Pardon my language, but I think they are the lowest forms of life to exist on the planet. Or rather, one of the lowest. I'm not saying that they are the top of the list, but they are on my list. There, there is no top of the list when it comes to people that I wouldn't mind pushing their ass off the edge of a cliff. They, they, you know. But oh man, I'm going to get into the story because I, I, I want to give you guys the story, then I want to get off of this topic because it's um. I don't know if you guys ever have ever had any females in your family have actually been raped or molested by some man now I'm a man you know what I'm saying but every man has a criteria for what they consider a man to be if you are molesting children or trying to fornicate with teenagers anybody any uh, I'm, I'm gonna get into it man because I'm um, I'm starting to digress and I feel it that I'm about to get off topic so I'm gonna go ahead um Father raped to your daughter and broadcast attack online. German prosecutors. And this was in Germany. As you can see, the language is German. That's a German courthouse that, that, that is being shown on the screen there. A father is facing multiple charges of sexual abuse to allegedly raping his two-year-old daughter and broadcasting it live on the quote-unquote dark web. And for you guys out there who don't know, that there is a, a community, a global community of pedophiles and child molesters that exist. It is a global community of these people. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. So when you see children, missing children, children who have been abducted or whatever, on milk cartons or in the papers or on circulars or something like that. Yeah. The man, 28, from Lübeck in Northern Germany is accused along with a male acquaintance. Oh, for fuck's sake. 47 of raping the toddler multiple times. Oh man. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this one, guys. I'm gonna try. Both are scheduled to appear in court for several sexual abuse. I'm sorry, for severe sexual abuse of a small child reports TZ. German prosecutor Christian Braun Braunworth told LN on April 19th that the unemployed father who hasn't been named, sexually abused his daughter nine times from the summer of 2016 until the time of his arrest last November. On three occasions, the abuse included rape, and twice he, quote unquote, brought her near to death by gagging, said Prosecutor Bronwarth. The man allegedly filmed the abuse and broadcast it live through a chat network on the dark web which masks users IP addresses the network included around 50 participants said Mr. Braunwater so there were 50 people globally more than likely watching this young girl this little girl this, little, this baby be molested man I'm um, I'm having a hard time getting through this one, guys. But it's not a it's not a long story, so um, oh yeah. So I'm 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 gonna suffer through it because these kinds of things need to be put on blast. They need to be put out there for the world to see, so that we can again purge our world of people 
who are sick like this. They need to be purged from the global community. I'll continue. The child suffered severe trauma as well as, I'm sorry, severe trauma as a result of the abuse and is now in the sole custody of her mother, who was unaware of the sexual assaults. It's believed the abuse took place when the child's mother was either asleep or at work. The horrific abuse was brought to the attention of Child Protective Services in 196, I'm sorry, November 2016, after the accused father sent a man who he had met on an online dating site photos and videos of the alleged crime through WhatsApp Messenger. So, big ups to that dude. Big ups to that dude for, for, for putting this fucker on blast. The man alerted child protect protection authorities who, in turn, notified police. The father was then arrested three days later, according to Die Welt. The man has confessed to some of the charges, according to prosecutors. Searches of both men's homes uncovered instruments presumed to have been used to bind and gag the child. The initial investigation has since broadened to include further suspects who participated in the live chats, some of which prosecutors say encouraged the men to perform certain acts on the toddler, as well as others who received child porn material from both men. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here because this, I'm gonna end the video here. Like, learn, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this sick son of a bitch. And if you guys know anybody out there who does anything like this, it is your responsibility to report their asses. It is your responsibility to protect those children. We live in a world full of children that are being victimized in this way. It is the adult's responsibility, like you and myself, to protect these children. If you are an adult and you know of something like this happening, even if you think it could possibly be happening, you owe it to that child to investigate that because no child deserves that. I don't give a fuck what race you are. I could care less. I could care less. Anybody who would turn a cold shoulder to any child who's being victimized like that because of their race, you two are a piece of shit. You are a scumbag. This isn't a black or white issue right here, right now. This is not a black or white thing. This is a child who was being victimized by her father, the man, the man in her life, the man who was supposed to teach her about men. At two years old, she is young enough to grow beyond this, but this is gonna scar her for the rest of her life. She is going to have issues and she's going to have, um, she's gonna be afflicted with things, stress and different things, phobias, fears or desires that she's not even going to be able to understand. She's not even gonna understand certain things about herself or why she is the way she is. Because at two years old, hopefully for her, she can put this memory behind her, but hopefully with therapy, she can grow and heal her mental, her psyche. But it is the responsibility of every adult on this planet to protect the children. It is your responsibility. And if you are a person who does these kinds of things with children, um, kill yourself. Kill yourself. Um, if you are a person who watches other people do this to children, join the person that I talked about just now. You know, join them. You guys should get into a cyanide pill chewing contest to see who can chew theirs and swallow it the fastest. I encourage that for all you scumbags who like to hurt and abuse and molest little children. I encourage you to do so. Um, man, protect the children, man. They are the future. If I if we pump out nothing but mentally disturbed children, there's no future for any of us. Black, white, Asian, East Indian, Arab, whatever you are, if our children are not being protected, there is no future for us. Protect the children, man. Protect the children.